Pechi Kuch 193, The Shang Tsung Show. Also, there is some Emperor Palpatine, but we don't need to talk about him too much. Uh, so, um, basically, Mortal Kombat 11 had a massive DLC update called Aftermath, where they added additional plot. That plot centers around Shang Tsung, Fujin, and Nightwolf traveling through time um, to save all time from being destroyed based on the events of Mortal Kombat 11. Um, Shang Tsung was the first DLC character for Mortal Kombat 11. Um, a true DLC character in that you would pay money for him because his moveset is ridiculous and he is actually voiced by uh, Kari Hiroyuki Tagawa, the guy who did played him in the real movie Mortal Kombat, travesty that it is. But it's the Shang Tsung show from the start to the finish. Uh, and it's delicious. It's like two and a half hours of very well acted. Um, I don't want to say sophisticated plot. It's a beat 'em up, but it's like you know they go through time. Every fight they have happens because Shang Tsung is there. Nobody likes him. Uh, he keeps pulling these smug faces. He's obviously got a plan. Um, it, you know, it's it's delightful in how obvious it is that the the twist is coming, but you can appreciate it just because it's so obvious. Um, it is also worth noting the mocap for the fight scenes is spectacular. Um, Hollywood movies weren't this good before you know people like Jackie Chan and Sammo Hung started getting involved in fight choreography in the West. Um, things like The Matrix started happening. This is a quality production. It makes me want to buy the game even though I have no interest in playing it. And of course it ends with the plot twist we all saw from the start, especially if you saw the JPEG I did when I clicked on the video. Um, I regret nothing, much like Shang Tsung. Uh, <laughs> I don't think I'd want to live my life making as few friends as him, but when you're as smug as he is, whatever. Um, I also spent a little bit of time drawing, no surprise. Um, I was trying to use a mechanical pencil and just draw. It didn't. The idea was it didn't matter what I was drawing. I was trying to focus on making the marks and appreciating just drawing putting lines where I thought they should be and not actually thinking about what I was doing at all. Um, you know, I love cross-hatching. Um, at what point is a line inappropriate when it's not perfectly parallel to the next? You know, uh, zooming in and out is, is always a problem with digital work, and I was feeling that using a mechanical pa pencil on paper puts me in a very different state of mind than when I'm doing these things in a, in a digital platform also the angle of my Cintiq is probably hurting my odds of, of making the lines I want here I'm just trying to draw ellipses um, you know like they talk about in draw a box um, a website that just talks about improving line quality by just focusing on very simple things um, starting with drawing lines and then eventually getting up to boxes I drew a picture of Wolverine um, because I don't know why <laughs> Um, I drew a head, then I drew the hair, and then it was Wolverine's hair, so then, you know, I just worked the way down, uh, trying to figure out how to draw. It was interesting. Uh, I also saw a video, uh, a 3D animation made to look like a cute 2D animation, uh, with a very strong kind of Japanese flavour. Um, it's... <laughs> I love it for everything, the voice acting, the jokes, uh, the quality, the art style. Um, the way Palpatine is, like, he's cheeky. And he's cheerful, um, and it just made me think, you know, he's, he's, he's like the creepiest dude in film in cinema, but like, you know, when he smiles, even he can be charming in his own subversive manner. So I thought, let me draw some terrible picture of Palpatine, um, you know, meme it up, you know, what does he say? He says, do it, do it, do it. So, you know, let me, let me have him say do it. So I'm, you know... Not trying to be clever, just going to draw him. Uh, here I am about a minute in realising, wait, I don't know how those weird things on his face work because he's all scar up and stuff. So I've got to actually... Tr let's try doing a thumbnail and let's figure out how his face is actually built. And it's like he's... It's like he's got wrinkles on top of general anatomy, but it's also a very specific thing. Uh, effectively, you know, in the 70s, they just stuck stuff on the actor's face and that was that. They didn't think about it too much. Uh, so I'm not going to think about it too much myself. So I got it here. just wanted to have a cheeky grin, um, but still sinister. Um, plonk him on the, the, um, the Death Star. Just direct reference from one of the images I was looking at from the stuff I found on Google. 
um, in and out like a bank job, just as messy. Um, but while I started coloring um, using spray paint, I kind of accidentally discovered something that I was doing in Photoshop. There's a way you can basically use the same color and then it darkens as you apply on top of it, which might be useful for me rendering in the future. I don't know. Uh, but it's it's always good to be in the kind of place where you stumble across these things. So this this is my, I don't know, 45 minutes to an hour's work of... I swear to God, I'm not a Star Wars fan, I, I, honestly. Uh, but I'm not against it either. It's very good meme fuel, and I am a, definitely a fan of the meme. So, you know, if Uncle Palpy says do it, so do it. Uh, I was also watching the occasional art tutorial. This guy was talking... Marco Bucci was talking about... Um, literally drawing directly on top of 3D models that he made in, in Blender and it was a brute force tutorial. He didn't explain how to use Blender, he just showed you literally what button to push when um, and the brute force tutorial is a very um, curious thing where you don't teach people the context, you just show them how they can achieve the results. Uh, this Alex Ross tutorial was like the opposite where he explains it about how he uses real 3D clay models to render things and then doesn't show anything. And it was so weird, I think it was more like the editor edited the stuff out because it's, it was a super short video. Uh, and then Sad Clown of the Week is me playing way, way, way too much Kenshi. I didn't realize it until now, but Kenshi is literally one of the best games I've ever played in my life. Um, since I'm furloughed, it's very difficult to justify not playing it. But I have played too much of it. It's phenomenal and I have to walk away. Uh, so hopefully there'll be more stuff in the next Petra Kucha. Of course, it will still be 20 slides because that's how these things work. 20 slides for 20 seconds. Let's find out. I'll see you next time.